Good morning, mine lovers. Tom and Julie here. We're on the road looking for a mine, of course. Pretty nice road right here. Some nice mountains ahead of us. A little bit of cloud cover today, making it quite pleasant. That's looking out the other way. Nobody around so far. Kind of a scenic little area here. Definitely a desert scene. That's a nice view, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Road's getting a little more interesting. I hope we can get back up here. <laughs> Rough. You always gotta watch out going down a steep road because you may not get back up it. This is looking down a small shaft. We're getting very close to the mine now. There's remnants of an old cabin here. Or a small shack of some sort. Man, what a beautiful area though. Rugged, but beautiful. Behind me is the main part of the mine. Up this way. I see a head frame up there. I see two or three adits also. And I'm guessing there's a shaft where the head frame is. This is the junk pile below the mine, standing on top of the waste rock pile. That looks like an old air conditioner down there, the evaporative type. Behind me is a head frame. Looks like it was painted white at one time. Uh, let's see, there's a cover over here. I see a ladder sticking out. It's covered over. Not sure if it's bolted down or not. Not really. Let's see if we can pick this up. Oh boy. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? It's actually in pretty good shape. You'd have to rope in because I wouldn't trust that old ladder, but interesting. This is the skip track where it came up and had the notches there for the skip car to dump into this little chute right here. An old wooden chute. This pile over here appears to be ore that was not hauled off and it, it wasn't sent to the waste pile so I'm guessing there may have been some value in it lots of good rocks Little rocks, big rocks. Definitely some quartz in there. I have my spotlight out. I'm looking down the skip tracks. 
it looks like there's possibly a level where those planks are crossing the shaft and then below that the skip tracks shallow out somewhat they're pretty close to vertical here they're probably about 80 degrees to start with and I don't see any levels up top here but possibly where that plank is uh, yeah I also see a piece of ventilation line going the opposite you know going horizontally so that's a sign that there may be a, a level there so let's go down and look at that we're looking at a shaft here we got our anchors I'm gonna be roped in it's got a ladder here but the ladders a little a little you know sketchy yeah looks like somebody repaired a rung here about 50 years ago with a piece of metal yeah. We've got our uh, two anchors here. We've got an anchor and a backup anchor. We're going around one of the legs of the head frame. So uh, let's go down and see what we find here. Hopefully the ladder will hold on a little bit here. The tops of these old ladders are usually the worst spot because they're out in the weather. That rung is wired on. Okay. It's not really the best way to have that carabiner. All right, I'm on the ladder. Oh boy, that's spongy. Okay, Julie's preparing to come down. This is what I see when I got down to this level. There's a T in the vent line, which makes me think that there's a level behind me. I haven't really looked real far behind me yet. And the vent looks like it also went further down, which makes me believe there might be another lower level below this. This is looking down again. Skip track's still in pretty good shape, as you can see here. And the framing for the lagging and all that on the uh, shaft is pretty good still. Holding up. There she is. Warm and oh man, it's hot. Yeah, I know. I had my sweatshirt on when I came down here. I got down to this level and Ooh, it's like you know, a sauna. Yeah, I was about to pass <laughs> out. The skip truck is joined right here, a lap joint or something like that. Okay, be careful coming out over here. Stay on the rope. Okay. Here's kind of a neat little rack for their jackets or hard hats or something when they come in and out of the mine. You could have tightened your knot up a little in case you fall. A little bit, not that much. Okay, let's see what we have on this little level. There's a big contact zone on our right here where the fissure was that the molten minerals laden water filled up. So ahead of Julie is a little timber that looks like it was used as a lifting point, like a little mini head frame, because there's a panel down here that looks like it could have been removed and I, I'm guessing there might have been something below it because this chain was there for a reason in this timber. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know if I want to bother lifting it up. Looks like there was strap reel in here, although there's no strap on it, so maybe it was just two by four reel. You can see it right here. 
And there's a nice vein up above us here. Look at that. Oh, man. Isn't that nice? Nice. Yeah. And then here's the wall again on our right, the contact zone. But look at this vein. There's gold in them in our hills. Another big piece of it up there by Julie. A little ladder, a little stall here. I guess they didn't want this big slab coming off. And then here's another part of this vein. That's pretty neat. A little ladder. And then that's about it. They they wander down right here. I guess the vein pinches down or maybe it dives down lower. I don't know because this does the the shaft goes lower. Okay, let's go back to the shaft. We'll go down to the next level or to the bottom of the shaft, whichever comes first. Beautiful vein, though. I love these, seeing these things. There's probably something below here. But they've got it blocked off pretty good, and the rails are still going across the top, so you're not going to be able to lift that up. And this is this is back to the shaft. So we'll rope up and go down lower, see what we find. Alright, All right, let's go let's down go, a little. Okay, let's go down a little lower, see what happens. the vent line here. I might have to send to the bottom. Okay. That's fine too. Yeah. This is looking up from where I am now to where the level, Julie's at the level there where she is, that we just were at. This is the track going down, the ladder that I'm on. Okay, here comes Miss Julie, down from the next level up. There is a level down here. I took a quick peek. I didn't see the end of it or anything, but just to make sure it was worth for her to come down. I'm guessing we're down about a hundred feet where I am. These are fun little mines, these type to explore. You know, the big ones are fun too, but the little ones can be just as fun. This was a gold mine 
operated between 1890 and the 1920s was its primary dates of operation. I'm sure it was worked after that, probably even up into the 50s and 60s, off and on. And it is hot, hot, hot down here. Oh my gosh. Feels like we're going in the middle of the earth. Goes just a little bit that way. Here's some load counts on the board here. Once again, you can see the, the contact on the flat wall, the hanging wall. Did you turn the heat up down here? Yeah, I turned it all the way up. <laughs> Not too much. There's death in this one at least. Good. Usually at the bottom of these there's dead rabbits and deer and foxes and whatever else. Okay, let's go exploring. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Look at the spider, the black widow. Looks like it. Does they have that red mark? Yeah, they got a red hourglass or whatever. I can't see without my glasses on, but the video should tell us. All right. Okay, let's go explore this drift. I see there's some strap reel right off the bat and a rim off of a vehicle of some sort. What's this stuff over here? This looks like a support for something that this piece... Oh yeah. It's got, it's got rubber wired on it to it and a Kind of a little saddle there. Hmm. Interesting. That's just in a piece of bottle. Mm. And I don't know what that is. Is that part of a ventilation too? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Once again, there's a nice vein down here. The same one we saw up above. Let's say 62. Looks like 42. 42? 42. 9, 20. 42. 42, yeah, I think it is 42. That's when the mines closed for the non-strategic metals oh. act. That's weird. Yeah, there's a snake over here, isn't there? Look at that. It is weird. I don't know what kind of rack that is either. There's some weird kind of wreck. What's that thing in the upper left corner there? I don't know. What's it made of? Cardboard. Like a match cover? Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. It's a weird, it's a weird, uh, oh, it's a bird. Isn't it? A oh, yeah. Bird? yeah, a little bluebird. It's a weird little rack there that's all wired up, got a piece of ruler on it, and an old what's left of a snake. Kind of strange. Here's a little ladder. Here's a little ladder that goes up just to so they could get up to this little piece of scaffold here and work this little area. Work that little stove. It's kind of a hook ladder, isn't it? They were able to hook that onto stuff. Okay, let's continue on. This is still got the track in here. Yeah, it's a beautiful vein in it. That's the star attraction of these mines, are the minerals. The reason for the whole thing is right there. What they haven't taken anyway. They already took all the good stuff. Just a short little alcove there. Pack of Lucky Strikes down there. And 
a little bluish color, maybe some copper minerals. No, uh oh, more ladders. I want another one of these little. They must have had a little hoist of some sort. That all they needed was a one little anchor point up here. There's, there's another uh, another one of these little mini head frames on this little winds. Oh, yeah, with the chain. Yep, with the chain on there. Just go a couple of there. stalls here. And then here's a ladder going down. I suppose we can climb down if we have to. See how much of a level it is. Might be interesting. Mm -hmm. Probably not much though since there's not a big hoister of any kind. No. It's still carrying on here. Looks like it curves to the left. Here's a shortcut to the left. We're going to go see how far that goes. It's been backfilled some. Yeah, I can see the face back there about 25 feet. And then the rest of this is backfill. There's a glove. Does this, what does this thing say? Without getting too much in. No, not the. I know, I was trying this. to It's just a design. Says something. Nitrate, something. Calcium nitrate. Oh, calcium nitrate, yeah. That was explosives enhancer. So this gunny sack, what I like to call them, is a calcium nitrate rubberized on the inside sack to, to hold calcium nitrate, which is an explosives enhancer. And then I don't know what this one is. Is this something else? Mm -hmm. It looks like an old coffee yeah, logo or something. It's all chewed up. Rats mm -hmm. made a nest out of it. Yeah. We're not messing with it too much. Now let's carry on. Tracks take a left here. Hanging wall is still on our right. There's some little area that they worked. And a rat's nest back there. A happy face. Here's a poor mole pack. Here's some interesting miners graffiti. In a real pretty area too. June 15th. 15th, 1941. 9-20-42, 9-145, 11 146. So so this was opened after the war again. Or people have been in here anyway. I don't know if it was opened or not, but. Starting to narrow down a little bit. Ouch. Head bunker. <laughs> Tracks are still here. This is one step here. Julie's chuckling at something. It's a lady's face. Two of them. So here's some nice graffiti here. July something 39 November 12 38 September 38 January 39 February 39 then there's a lady's face so there's a lady's face there's another lady's face Here's October 7:39, twice January 8:40, and 
I can't read the bottom one. So that's kind of cool. It's Alice. Alice. They always want to find Alice, don't they? There's Alice. The tracks are still curving here a little bit. We're not going to last much longer in here because it's got to be uh, high humidity down here. Oh, here's more graffiti. Forty-eight, a lot from the forties. Forty-one, forty-two. All these mines were shut down. All the gold mines were shut down. Almost all of them. So I don't. Either people were in here just fooling around, or is that it? Yep. Yeah, that's going to be about it. They may have gone that way a little ways searching for something, but there's no track, and it's very low, so I don't think we're going to crawl in there. Okay, we're heading back towards the shaft. We've got to analyze that ladder. It went down to a... Hey, this is real track right here. I didn't even notice that. Oh, just on the curve, because, because strap track was hard to curve. See, that's a fairly sharp curve, so you can bend steel track, but it's hard to bend the 2x4s. You can do it. A lot of times they would slice it, you know, several times so that it would, the curve would take out the part that needed to be compressed for a curve. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to curve a 2x4. Unless you get the crappy ones somewhere at Home Depot and they're already curved. <laughs> so here's this ladder going down. We don't have any more rope, do we? No, Our rope's tied okay. up in the shaft. You still it doesn't go very far so you're saying it wouldn't hurt to fall? No, it might hurt a little. It's probably about... Okay, ready? Tom. Yeah, I'm ready. Tom's gonna go check out this little ladder. I might get stuck down there with my yeah. back on. <laughs> might get stuck. A little tight. Uh, if you turn to your right a little, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, he squeezed his way through. That's looking back up the ladder. Looks like they just followed this vein down here. It keeps going down, but they must have figured it wasn't productive enough. And then they followed it this way a little ways. Probably about 15 feet over to there. And that's about it. I squeezed down there for that. But you never know. It is a nice vein though. Very beautiful rocks. Well, here are some shots of the minerals, if they fluoresce or not. A couple of them are fluorescing. The bulk of this main vein does not fluoresce. Yikes, I don't know how I ever got through there with my pack on. Me either.
Welcome back. Hmm. That was a tight squeeze down there. Okay, let's head back to the shaft. That's a neat little drift. Oh, it's cooler over here already. Look at that thick band of bull quartz. Nothing in there but quartz. Here's back to the vein. I could sit and look at these things all day. this little scaffold area there's the snake again here's a little piece of a muck sheet for a boiler plate to the shaft. All right, we're heading up. Who's going first? Here, I'll hold your rope back for you. Using a friction knot, so it's always nice to have somebody hold it, end of the rope. It's funny when you're at a ladder like this and you look up, you swear that it's going steeper than a 90 it seems pretty steep to start with here and then as it goes up it seems to almost tilt backwards but it doesn't it's just deceiving that way I shouldn't really be standing here if something comes down I'm gonna get it right in the teeth We did a pretty good job of cleaning it on the way down though. I had to drop down a couple of rocks, a couple of boards, and this piece of vent pipe. That would have made a nice spear. I noticed on these ladder rungs they put a little nail on the back of it and a piece of pretty fine wire, not real fine, but pretty thin wire. And they they wired it around the front here as a little safety. They did that all the way up. And they put a leg screw into these cross timbers in the shaft. Pretty good ladder. That's a rotten round. Yeah. That little wire held on. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. So up here above that head frame where we were just down the shaft, and you can see the road in in the background, kind of neat. There's a road wall there. I'm on top of another little waste pile. We followed the quartz vein up from the shaft there, and you can see it goes right up above. There's a little added here, and as if you were back a little further, you could see it go right up the hill. Little outcroppings uh, pop up here and there. So there are a lot of nice uh, rocks outside the entrance to this little uh, drift. It looks like they might be ore that never got processed or hauled off. So let's go in and see what we find. I'm guessing it's rather small judging from the waste pile. It smells like a mine. Oh, a nice looking vein though, isn't it? Again. That's a, it's a very short.
And this is the face. Here's the hanging wall on our left. Look at the minerals so well. This is straight up. Look at all the quartz. All right, well, we have a couple more we can check out. There's a ladder I'm not going to try. It's racked. And it's broken rungs. You can see the vein they were falling down there, though. They made a little open cut up here. That's what clued them in as to the vein here. As they went down, it got a little wider. They probably started getting excited. And... Then they quit. It's probably pretty good on this side too, underneath the ladder. I can see it. And there might be a little bit of a left and right level down there, but not for me today. This is a nice view of the head frame, the head works. The mountains beyond, beautiful area. That's looking up at the upper attic to this mine. You can see the quartz vein goes up above it too. And it comes right down through here. This is another little small shaft. And you can see the quartz right there. And it goes smack right into the middle of that inclined shaft we went down. It goes right across the whole mountainside. It's about two feet wide right here, too. Well, we're signing off for today. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on our next adventure. He didn't even have to put that in four-wheel drive.